how good is this Bears wide receiver tandem now among all wide receiver tandems in the NFL? I've all, I've often loved thinking about that, and we can we can expand it and think about the full set of skill positions if you want. But let's just start with wide receiver tandems before I get to my Fields Caleb thing towards the end. Okay, what I did was I went back to the stats from last year and I looked at all the tandems that gained a thousand yards because. Keenan Allen had 1,243 yards. DJ Moore had 1,364 yards. The Bears have two of the top 11 wide receivers by yardage in the NFL from last year now on the same team. That, of course, is not a guarantee. The numbers will be there. You'd have to have probably a 4,000-yard quarterback to get 2,000-yard uh, receivers there. But when I ask you who the best tandems are around the NFL, anyone come to mind right away? Best tandems in the NFL, first off my mind. See, the way I process this is yeah. I go through who the quarterback is. Did he have 4,000 yards? Mm -hmm. And then, like, so I, I think of the Dolphins last year. That's number one on the list uh, that I put together here. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell. That's, they're, they're, they're unbelievable because on any given play, one of them can go to the house. Yeah, and either one of them, I totally agree, could go to the house on a little eight-yard in route or could be running a fly pattern or could... Be and then uh, Tyreek is like his own cheat code, though, because like you can I just know. throw it to him in open space and like good luck if you weren't in position to make the tackle when he catches the ball. Right, exactly. So Hill and Waddle, I, I absolutely agree. Um, there are, let's see, four tandems that each had 1,000 yards. But one of them is a tight end. Brandon Ayuk and George Kittle. Yes. Each had 1,000 yards. Yes. Now, of course, Debo Samuel was hurt and didn't get the numbers up there. But but you know the vibe. Right? And, like, skill, if we expand the all the way to skill yeah, position Yeah, Debo group, Samuel's not even really a receiver. He's a, I do whatever I want. I think the Niners. He's everything Taysom Hill wishes he could be. The Niners are number one as a skill position group. Yes. Aside from quarterback. This is all aside from quarterback, yes. I'm thinking. As we're talking about this, wide receivers, McCaffrey. tight ends, running backs. Yeah, yes. so McCaffrey, Kyle Kittle, Yushak, you got the all-pro uh, they, fullback. Like, they, they just brought back Juwan Jennings, who's a very solid and suitable number three right. for them with a big body. Could probably do more if he got more chances. When, when, when the majority of NFL fans know you're number three receiver, that means you're doing things. Mm. That means you're doing things. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I agree. Here's an, here are the two other wide receiver tandems that each had 1,000 yards. Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Yeah. Baker because, Mayfield was out here t tossing that thing around. Chris Godwin had 1,024 yards. Mike Evans, 1,255. And here's the thing about them. They just fit so much because Mike Evans can play outside and Godwin is your slot guy. And, and they look like this is what like a prototypical – one and two would look like yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. going down the field, running routes, and they do different things, but they can also do the same thing and kill you. Right, but they complement each other yes, stylistically, the right? Yes. Th that feels really sensible to me in that way. And then Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown from Philly, that might be my number one. I, I think – I mean, I know you know the Eagles well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think A.J. Brown is such a badass, and Devontae Smith is tiny, but his hands are great. And he he makes plays. He's the guy that just like, oh, they threw him that ball. I didn't even know he was going to catch that, but not only did he catch that, but it was a touchdown. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I like that one-two punch. And then you add in, um, what, Dallas Goddard, um, and then it, now Saquon Barkley. Now Saquon Barkley! <laughs> like – Here's like, my thing right with Saquon. There, they're right there with the Niners in terms of full skill position. Group. I don't trust Saquon Barkley's health, which is not his fault. It's just like I've seen him get hurt too often and mm -hmm. been on the sidelines too often. But when that man is fully healthy, if he plays, you know, 15 to 17 games, yeah. that is a problem for whoever. Because you add in like the the obviously the the mobile quarterback with uh Jalen Hurts. Yeah. And you just see it. The possibilities are endless with that offense. They are absolutely endless. So here, here's the thing. It, you know, let's take out Ayuk and Kittle right now because I, I just want to keep it to wide receiver Wide receiver tandems. tandems, got it. So we've got Hill and Waddle. we got Evans and Godwin, Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. After free agency, now we have two new pairings of 1,000-yard dudes, Keenan Allen and D.J. Moore of the Bears. Right. And DeAndre Hopkins and Calvin Ridley in Tennessee. Did we grant that? It doesn't jump to the top of your mind. So, so here's the thing with that. I mean, Calvin really had a great season last year. Yes, he did. In Jacksonville, after having to sit out, right? So, uh, how much are we factoring who their quarterback is? Or are we just not? 
That's my next question. Yeah, no, we're not. Because okay, we don't so, know who the Bears quarterback is going to be as much as we think we might. Right, right. I'm, I'm saying when I was looking at the other teams, like, you know, I know like I know, I know exactly what I'm getting from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because I know what Baker Mayfield would do, do with those two guys because he's already done it. Yeah. Uh, some of these other guys, I'm not sure. Obviously, the Dolphins are super explosive. So I would put ahead of the Bears, the Dolphins. Well, I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not done. I'm not done yet because that's all the 1,000-yard tandems going into this year in the NFL. That's the five wide receiver tandems that all got 1,000 yards based on new, bo- new guys and still teammates from last year. But we got to put a couple others in. Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup. I mean, Puka Nakua had an outrageously great year, and now a full healthy Cooper Cup. I don't know that Cooper Cup's still at that same level. Oh man, I like, don't know. I, I that that dude. That dude is a route runner extraordinaire with unbelievable hands, way faster than you think. Absolute stud. I, I mean, I think if they're both healthy, that's going to be a big, big tandem. So he's you know he's thirty years old. Yeah, uh, he'll be thirty one when the season starts. Um, he had a really down year. I know he wasn't fully healthy. The entire season, but he had by his own, he, he's had a couple of not as much seasons as he had, you know, S- since that Super Bowl yeah, year. Since the the man caught 145 passes in one season, outrageous, okay, outrageous, and and it, he's not going to do that anymore because Puka's there. Because and, Puka's there, yeah. So that's why I'm looking at it. All right, I I, I, I just want to get all the options out there. I here. think that's the the what makes them both effective. Mm-hmm. There's similarity there, so I think they have less of that complementary that you're talking about. Uh, as compared to the Eagles, or we could say with the, the with the Buccaneers. Okay, um, there's two more that didn't each have a thousand yards, but I think deserve to get mentioned here. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. I mean, Metcalf is an absolute stud who can do anything you want, and with that big body. And Lockett is a tremendous possession receiver. His numbers trailed off, but that's because Jackson Smith and Jigba was in there a little bit. Unless you know, you think D- Tyler Lockett has decayed a little bit. Uh, again, I think age does play a, a part in it, uh-huh. but I, I, I'm not as excited about that tandem you just gave okay. me compared to the ones prior. And then here's the one the textures are going crazy that I haven't brought up yet. Jamar Chase and T. Higgins of the Bengals. Is T. Higgins going to be a Bengal next year? So far, they, they franchised him. They franchised him. him, yeah, not exclusive. Yeah, no, I mean, I think if, if, if they're back, that's got to be top three, w- without a doubt. Top three. Yeah, and they're, young, and they're young. They're young. Yeah, they're young, and they've already they're young, and they've already proven what what they can do. And they're both big enough to be guagi guys. Go up and get it, guys. They've got that skill. They're both fast enough. They're both true number ones. You yeah, know? they would be. They would be a number one on their own team, almost on, on on almost every team in the league. Yeah, and then you know, people want me to say Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison. I I haven't Addison seen. had moments yeah, after Jefferson went down. Yeah, so I could see it. I, I, I could see it. I'll, I'll, I'll put I'll put them on the list, but they're not going to make uh, make my top five. Right? They don't make your top five. All right, let, let let's do the top five. I think the Bears are in the top five. Again, we're taking the quarterbacks out of it. I think yes, that's we very are. important to like reemphasize yes. as we have this discussion. Yes, Hill and Waddle, Chase and Higgins, Devonta Smith and AJ Brown. That's all top three, right? I think so. Yes. Evans and Godwin. I mean, they did it with Brady and then they did it with Baker. They did it with whoever. They did it with they did it with anybody. Like that's the thing that the, the most impressive thing about Mike Evans specifically. Yeah. It just does not matter who's throwing him the football. He'll he'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. And then I think Keenan Allen and DJ Moore are a top five wide receiver tandem in the NFL. <sighs> and if there's people out there who are doubting and don't realize it, like Keenan Allen is is a stud. As a full um, wide receiver, doing absolutely everything. Brandon Staley had said about him, um, as he approached 10,000 yards last year, there's a great article on Chargers.com with his coaches and his teammates talking about him and, and Keenan talking about what he does. And it's it, it, here's Brandon Staley, quote, he really plays the receiver position as an art form. When you play it like him, it, it's what makes him special, and it's going to age well. The older you get, the gifts aren't what makes him special. It's how he plays wide receiver. No, it's the technical aspect yes. of it, right? Yep. And Justin Herbert said he's such a pro, done a great job watching film, taking care of his body. He's as good as it gets talent-wise, but he's as professional, the way that he treats people and just everything. He's a he's an absolute craftsman as a route runner with incredible hands, and th- this is, it's going to be a treat to watch him and DJ Moore together, man. As long as somebody can get him the ball. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's my fear as a, just watching what I've watched the last three years. Yeah.